Hi everyone, my name is Sharon, aka Wabaraka. I am a woman of many hats, but the one I pride myself with most is being a child of God. Among my many hats, I am a gospel artist. I recently released my first album titled Digirumeka, which features songs such as Mokoradimo Duerira and others in April this year, 2019. However, that's not the reason why I am here. I've decided to come out for a real talk of what's going on around the world that has left my heart bleeding and weeping for my generation. Let's talk about depression. What is depression? According to American Psychiatric Association, depression, or major depressive disorder, is a common and serious medical illness that negatively affects how you feel, the way you think, and how you act. Depression causes feelings of sadness and a loss of interest in activities you once enjoyed. End of quote. You see, depression is soaring at scary heights all over the world that if we continue to watch from a distance, it's going to wipe a whole generation and the future generation will certainly fill the gap. It's time to act, people. I'm tired of reading the news around the world of one killed by their spouse or their lover, an innocent child killed, a parent killed, and all we do is act very shocked. Depression can be brought about by stress. And what I know is that stress causes other health complications and that can lead to death. I'm not a medical doctor, but I know that years of chronic stress can cause heart disease, liver failure, stroke, high blood pressure, ETC, and finally lead to death. I was gutted the other day reading an article on social media in Kenya where sadly some people were making fun of a situation where a tycoon had been found dead in a septic tank, and some people seemed to be, to be branding Kikuyu women as killers. It's pathetic, and it just shows how unaware some people are about some of these complicated situations. Wake up, people. The big question is, what have you done as a preventative measure, or are you a contributor to the already complicated situation? Listen, it does not hurt to be kind. You don't know the stress the next person is going through. So before you open your mouth, analyze your words. Some things are best not said. It is not hard to say hello to someone. That may be the only thing that person wanted to hear. When you walk past and you sneer at them, you are contributing to their death. It is not hard to smile. It is for your own good as well. A frowning face is a scary face to look at. And if you notice someone is frowning, don't just walk past by. Lighten their heart. Say something that will put a smile on their face. They probably aren't even aware they're frowning. Maybe they're stressed. But you want to judge them and say they're gloomy all the time. You. 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 A lot can be said. But for the sake of preserving a healthy generation... For our own precious and beautiful life, and for those around us, please, let us seek to be our brother's keeper. Depression kills. Baraka.